Welcome to yet again another Operator Mastery Guide where we go over everything from the absolute basics loadout all the way up to the most advanced things that you could do with the operator. So we're gonna go into the loadout, we're gonna skip no time and just get into IQ. It has become one of the favorites, honestly, for everyone. Pick rate is rising for IQ. I mean, it's always been high, but she has three very, very good guns with the AUG, the 5.52, and the G8. They're all good weapons i'll tell you that this one has the high the higher fire rate here out of the two ars but um the lmg is in my opinion is the hands down the best option you could do here or the og though if you were to run that it has a uh, it has an acog um has everything else as well but um i don't run the uh, the og so don't take my suggestion on the loadout there as for the 552 you have the angle grip or the vertical grip. Usually angle grip is better for attacking. And then you just have the standard setup here. Flash hider or muzzle is usually the way to go is what I've found. It just depends on what site you're using most of the time. I like to use holographic on a lot of, lot of weapons, but let's go into my favorite weapon. The G8 A1, where the angled grip is on this weapon. It has over 50 bullets. I like to use holographic, but it has an ACOG. So basically it's Ash's gun with angled grip and a holographic. That's the best comparison I can can give to you and then match that with the flash hider compensator is all right uh, as well but flash hider i just feel like it's the best for me um how i like to i guess it just it's easier to control the recoil for me but i get it if you like compensator but for me flash hider angled grip holographic sight for the rest of her loadout she just has the p12 handgun i put a muzzle break on that. that's really all you should put on pistols that are suppressors laser usually not the best idea and then you have a breaching charge or a claymore since i solo queue a lot claymore is a lot more useful to me but if you find situations where you need to go above maybe breach the floor then go ahead and get the breaching charge but for the most part you aren't really a vertical player you're more of a entry fragging role slash support player intel gathering just all sorts of things but we're gonna get into that once we get into game but that's iq's loadout she's pretty great she's three speed one armor so honestly i don't know why people really use ash that much anymore i get it she's still good but iq i think she provides more for the team has high speed and um, is fast so she's just fast overall so let's go into the game so hopping on to coastline one of my favorite maps so let's just go right into what the gadget is so she has this little portable phone type gadget here and it'll show anything that's electric so this is where i mean if you are more advanced just tune me out here but it could see anything that is electronic so from a camera right if we find that from a camera through a wall or to a legion mine mute jammer a bandit that's in a hand a phone even you see pulse you can see vigil when he's using his thing so it's it's a lot of stuff that you could see there and it gives a lot of intel to your team so you could say if, if there's valve cams right that's a great important thing because people like to throw valve cams outside usually especially on this map so say there's valve cams you're gonna you're gonna see them and you're probably the only one that's gonna be able to see them unless if they're a bad valve cam and in like an obvious wall or something but for the most part it's easy for you to see you could ping it to your teammate even if you didn't are behind a wall or something you can go like this and say oh the valve cam right there on the other side of that wall so that's the gadget gadget's really good gadget's really powerful but that's not really the main reason i play iq for the most part i'm not always on that little phone um i'm instead usually on this big boy this gun g8 a1 i want to show you guys real quick just how fast this ads is right that is way faster than ashes uh, r4c is what we're talking about not the g but the r4 uh the g8 a1 right it's a lmg 51 bullets quick ads And fantastic recoil that was all 51 bolts they're all within head right within a head of range so that is 51 bullets on a wall and that's how good this gun is so just to round out the gadget one more time you can see everything from default cams vault cams echo alibi maestro bandit mute cave jaeger smoke lesion ella capkin um all those every single every single thing you can imagine you can see you can also see nitro cells and even when you're just watching cameras right so here's how i killed someone the other day it was just a i think it was a cab or something sitting behind a window on his phone waiting to run out right or someone on their phone waiting to run out i see the little the little white thing right it looks just like um like that so it shows you it shows you outline like that and i'm like what is that 
do that and then I kill him. It, that's how simple it was and it was really really odd but it's something that doesn't happen all the time but for sure is a interesting thing that happened and I just wanted you to know that um, you can see that stuff whenever you are IQ so it's a good idea to have this out but you don't always want to have this out because when it is out you are quite vulnerable I mean someone could peek around this corner at any time while you're you know scanning below scanning wherever you're trying to scan and you are a pistol versus first of all them peeking around so they have peekers advantage so they saw you first you have a pistol and you have this blue tint over your whole screen so that's not a fight i like very often so i don't usually just walk around like this this is never a good idea with iq is you don't want to walk around with this because at the end of the day when you're walking around like this first of all like i said it leaves you exposed second of all it's really unnecessary once you see something you you either shoot it ping it to your teammates or just get off because there's no reason to just sit here and stare at something through a wall or just sit here and you know wait for something to appear nothing's going to appear it's just for intel all right i spin i spin i spin you can see up to 20 meters with it as you can see here you can see 20 meters and then it goes off the scanner so beyond that I mean, nothing's just going to magically appear unless if you're walking forward literally trying to look for stuff but then again flankers you're so exposed to flankers so that's all pretty basic stuff so i just want to get into play styles now because that is where most of the people come here for so play styles as i said earlier you have entry fragging and support so let's go into entry fragging first so as an entry fragger you are more often than not you are the first attacker to push anchors in sight so you are usually the first one to advance your team into the site and make that push now reason she is good at that first of all three speed second of all the ga1 and all of her guns 552 is also a really really uh, good gun as well but g8a1 is usually the main one that i at least see like pros use and um just good players i usually see the g8 and personally i think it's just the best gun out of them so i have a little bit of bias there but you have the g8a1 you have a three speed and you have your thing to check for traps this is the greatest part of it because say you're rushing in right you get to here say it's in hookah right you're by the door say you're just gonna full send it in there capkin trap okay there's one right there uh, there's a Valk cam right there. There's a Maestro on this side. You know where all this stuff is, and then you can make your entry more strategic. Shoot that, you go like that, and then you are in the sight, right? And you have a better advantage. Not only that is if they have a pulse, if they have anything, you see it before any other entry fragger would see it. So that's why I think she's pretty good at entry fragging. Even if you don't play her as an entry fragger though, she is still a fragger no matter if you're playing support or not. So it's very good whenever you play in cohesion with the support ops. So say um, you're playing it with Thatcher, so you know where everything is, you know where the Thatcher needs to throw his EMP grenades to destroy stuff. You could also see bandit tricks through a wall, which can be pretty darn useful as well. So hard breach support is definitely a thing with IQ. I don't think it's her main role though. She's definitely more of a fragger type role, but that's beyond the point. I think all you need to do to get good at IQ, obviously play her, right? Get good at just using the gadget. It's so simple, so very simple. And anyone should be able to pick up this and just, you know, be successful instantly because all it does, all the gadget requires you to do is have some communication to call out where stuff is for your team and to be able to shoot a pistol at a flashing beacon, right? So that's all you need to do with it. And then beyond that, you know, just get good with the gun. It's hard to not be good with this gun. It has a very limited recoil and, um, and it's a good gun overall. And it has an ACOG for the people that run ACOGs on everything. Personally, I don't really like ACOG that much, but that's just me. I know a lot of people do like ACOG, but at the end of the day, it's personal preference. The last words for IQ, I just want you to know, if you can do your role, get Valk cams, that's one of your roles. Get Echo drones, another one of your roles. Get mute jammers, get mozzies, just the big things to help your team succeed, obviously. Keep drones up by killing mozzies, by killing mutes, so you have more intel. You have succeeded as IQ, and you can now just be a fragger. And that's why people love IQ, because it is so fun to be able to just go frag out. You have such a easy role on the team, just a support fragging type role. And all you have to do is kill, you know, cams, kill echo drones, kill mozzies, kill mutes, and traps and stuff. So that's all for 
IQ. It's all I can give you for IQ. It's one of the simplest operators in the game. I think it's very easy. I think it's a good operator for beginners to learn on. Just know all the things that I said. Do those, you know, and then worry about just getting kills. And it'll be a fun time for you. And um, hopefully you enjoy playing as a IQ. And with that, hopefully you enjoy this as well. And let me know which operators you want to see next.